Hey, greetings. I'm here live on three. Okay, I'm here live on three. Oh, let's see. Hold up. All right, I'm going to have to hold this one up like this. I'm here live. I may have to stop. I'm going to have to stop the, the one on YouTube because that one is not. That's not working. Okay, so I am speaking tonight about squirting one hundred and one, and it's a it's a it's a it's a very hot topic. It's something that is is sweeping the the internet. It's you find all kinds of instructional videos. Hi, great aesthetics. Good night, <laughs> and. Uh, I have a pet peeve, and I'm going to speak to you tonight about this pet peeve. We have, as I said, these instructional videos, you have the courses, and uh, we have people who are giving instruction on how to squirt. I have major issue with people who've never squirted, or they have squirted once or twice and they have no idea how they achieved it, and men instructing women how to squirt. Those are the three issues, three major people that I have an issue with when it comes to squirting. Men giving instructional uh, videos or courses on how to make a woman squirt, they obviously will fall under people who've never squirted. Good night, Stabby Life. <laughs> and Okay, so we have, on, on the internet, you will see a, a variety of videos regarding squirting. And, um, okay, so what is squirting? That's first, let's, let me define what squirting is. So I'm working with two right now on Facebook as well as, as IG, so I'll be switching between the two cameras. So, yeah, so squirting is basically where there is fluid that flows from the uh, female genitalia from the vulva the 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 vulva hi good night hi ronette and uh, what it is it comes from the it does not come from the urethra it does not come from the bladder it comes from the paraurethral ducts which are two slits on either side of the urethra so women squirt Okay, and it's a, a trajectory of this fluid that comes out. Also, I need to define or differentiate between squirting and female ejaculation. Squirting is what I defined earlier. It's a, a clear liquid that, that uh, ejaculates from the paraurethral ducts of the vaginal, of the, of the female genitalia. Female ejaculation, on the other hand, is a creamier liquid, which comes from the Bartholin glands. It can also come uh, be secreted from the uh, within the glands of the vaginal canal. Sometimes even from the, the cervix as well. Okay, so the two completely different phenomena. I want to make that clear. Now, in, in what we're seeing a lot coming up is that the, the two are being uh, used interchangeably, and that's incorrect, okay? Squirting is squirting, female ejaculation is female ejaculation, two different phenomena altogether. And to set the record clear, every single woman can squirt once she allows herself to. But getting back now to my, my peeve, the issue that I have is the fact that the people that have never squirted or have squirted once or twice and they're not sure how they got it done are giving instruction on how to squirt. My major issue is, though, the fact that men are giving instructional videos on how to make a woman squirt. And this is what my issue is with it. These, okay, 
you can make a, okay okay let me just go back you can make a woman squirt okay but what they are instructing are force it's a forced method it's not the case where a woman is allowed to immerse into her body and allow the third gates and and this is where tantra and i think this is why we're having these this this absurdness of people speaking about squirting and, and and stuff like that because they don't understand the intricacies of tantra which is very important in squirting so in squirting a woman when she squirts is allowing herself to immerse fully into herself to oh my battery is dying hold up sorry to immerse into herself relaxing and allowing the third gate waters to open and flow and gush so it's nothing that's rushed it's nothing that's forced but we have men who are teaching a method which is a forced method I am not for force. I, I am a person, I the work that I do as a sensual empowerment leader and as the creatures of orgasmic intelligence is about allowing, allowing things to happen naturally, uh, enjoying the process and not forcing things. And you know why this forcing issue has come up? Because of porn, yes because of porn. Porn is therefore entertainment. So in porn, women are, obviously these are skilled women. Don't get me wrong. These are skilled women who understand how their bodies work. But because men are seeing this phenomenon, they're like, oh, we, you know, we want a woman to squirt. I want a woman to squirt. There's a way that you can force it. It's just like, Oh, what's, what's a good analogy? No. Okay. Uh, bees, bees don't actually, you don't squeeze a bee to get honey but I'm going to use that as an analogy because I can't think of anything else. But you, if you squeeze a bee to get honey, you may get honey. I'm, I'm not sure. It's not working, but you get in where I'm coming from. But if you allow the bees to produce the honey, that's more succulent. So what we have, we're seeing videos of men instructing with the with the two fingers inserting into the vaginal canal and about a, hitting at the approximately at the g-spot and then doing the come hither motion and what that does is when you do that you hit there and about the g-spot but then you're also touching on the bladder and you when you squeeze so you have these instructions where you you either do the come hither or there's some instructional videos where there's, there's a, a force, it's just a one push. You're forcing out urine. So this is another reason most likely why there's this huge debate as to whether it's pee or it isn't pee. When a woman is allowed to squirt as opposed to forced to squirt, it brings her into a place of empowerment where she is able to learn herself, understand her body, explore her body, and allow the juices to flow. It will happen. We are living in this microwave society, this everything must happen now when, as I want it, bram, bram. But when a woman, I'm telling you, when a woman learns how to squirt, she teaches herself how to squirt, when she and her partner explore her and allow it to come naturally, she learns herself, she can squirt upon demand. And believe you me, it's, it's more beautiful that way. It's not a spectacle, as in the case as we're doing with these come hither videos, it is something beautiful where she is aware that she is coming to this point and she's like, yes, it's about to come. And you watch it and you let her shower you or you just both uh, enjoy it. It's 
method of bonding for you and your partner, for you, for you both. And it helps to empower her because she understands her body. Yes, taking a, a switch and flicking it on and seeing the light come on, that's a way of, of bringing light as well. But there's more beauty in allowing yourself to come to the point of, of, of squirting. Tantra is a very intricate part of this process. And a lot of people are skipping over that for the entertainment, for the immediacy of having a woman squirt. For me, in, in the area, in, in my, my field, this is disempowering to us women. And us women need to, one, stop spreading this, this, uh, this technique to either teach other women how to squirt or teach a man how to make a woman squirt. Uh, men, ugh, I love you dearly, uh, but you need to dig a little deeper, understand what Tantra is, and then approach it from that angle as opposed to this microwave, immediate, straight up squirt, I wanna see it. No, let it be something beautiful because that's, that's what it's intended to be something beautiful, something empowering for the woman. It's something beautiful and empowering for your partner as well. So I'm going to get off my soapbox. That's all I wanted to speak about. Uh, squirting is it's a beautiful thing. Squirting is not to be forced it can be forced just like anything else you can get five minute rice cooked or you can spend 25 15 to 25 minutes cooking rice you will have a five minute cooked rice which is maybe tasty but is not as enjoyable at least where i come from i'm a caribbean person okay so we like to you know smell it cooking and we like to uh, you know add the the or the condiments and the seasonings and smell the aroma and and watch the, the rice grain come to full plump and you know we, we enjoy that process so that's that's the same thing with understanding what squirting is is something beautiful. It is not a spectacle. I thought I would have had some questions, but no, I don't see any questions. So thank you so very much. Remember, please allow the woman to immerse into herself. Let her find pleasure in it. It's not a forced thing. It's, it's just not no pleasure really enforcing it may be a pleasurable spectacle but it doesn't really empower her I remember you all are orgasmic naturally see you